hey guys welcome back to the channel in this video i'm gonna show you how to fix graphics glitches and textures issues in your citra emulator for any game so let's get started but before starting the video i want to tell you very important thing if you have amd gpu or intel hd graphics then do not use opengl in your citra emulator if you have NVIDIA GPU, then you can use OpenGL or Vulkan in your Citra emulator. And if you have AMD or Intel HD graphics, then please use Vulkan option in your Citra emulator to fix graphics glitches and textures bugs and other many issues for your Citra emulator. So let's get started. First of all, guys, good emulation and good configuration, and make sure you have Citra Canary version because Citra Nike does not support Vulcan in your Citra emulator. Go to emulation and configuration and go to graphics tab and go to advanced tab and click here and select Vulcan instead of OpenGL or software. Select Vulcan because Vulcan is better than OpenGL or software option. If you want to fix many issues like graphics glitches or textures issues in your Citra emulator for any game, then you need a Vulkan option from your graphics API in your Citra emulator. After selecting Vulkan from here, you need to select your more powerful GPU device. If you have uh, uh, multiple GPU devices, then please choose a more powerful GPU device from here and if you want to use Vulkan to fix graphics glitches uh, so in your Citra emulator then make sure you have uh, already installed new drivers for your GPU device so go to search bar on your windows and type here device manager go to device manager control panel and go to display adapter now guys you need to about your already installed drivers version and driver type go to properties and drivers and you can see driver date and driver version installed in my pc for my GPU device if you have all the version drivers then you can face a lot of issues like texture issues or graphics glitches in your citra emulator so to fix this error uh, you need to update drivers for your GPU device. After updating drivers for your GPU device, uh, you can choose, uh, you can uh, select another options uh, to fix the issues. Uh, enable this one, enable async shaders compile, and check all these options from here, and go to enhance match from here. And uh, uh, over here, guys internal resolution so if you have more powerful gpu then you can change your resolution from your citra emulator so i restart my citra emulator and uh, yeah uh, right click go to your control panel for your nvidia or amd or intel hd graphics so you need to know about your uh, native resolution uh, from your uh, uh, gpu device go to change resolution and scroll down so this is my native resolution if your native resolution is uh, uh, 1980 or uh, 1080 then you can increase your resolution from your citra emulator go to emulation and right click and go to properties and graphics tab enhancement so you can increase your resolution from here you can select 2x or 3x uh, if you face any issue uh, after selecting 3x then you can select native resolution because i have a simple gpu so this is why uh, i can choose uh, this resolution so you can see now i close it and okay and uh, uh, go to emulation and configuration again for more settings and select your region auto select from here and system do not change any settings from here and graphics and ok and right click and go to properties and make sure 
your settings uh, are same for your Citra emulator for your game so graphics tab and walk and okay and if you're still facing the issue for your uh, Citra emulator for any game then you need to uh, change some settings from your uh, uh, control panel for your NVIDIA or AMD GPU so I need to change some settings from my GPU device so go to manage 3D settings and do not change any settings from here uh, so these uh, these are my settings OpenGL GDI compatibility with fair performance so OpenGL running GPU you select your uh, GPU device and uh, power management mode maximum performance and texture filtering quality you can see it's a very important thing select high performance from here if you want to fix uh, texture glitches then select high performance and uh, vertical sync should be off from here and select from here this one and okay now click on apply and go to adjust image settings and select from here performance if you want more settings for your GPU device so check this option apply and go to configure surround or uh, select your uh, choose your graphics device if you have an internal GPU then you can select CPU but I have external GPU so I select this one and apply and go to manage 3 settings again and go to program settings and go to add options and go to browse and select your uh, Citra emulator application file do not select wrong application file select this one Citra KRT open and apply now close it and if you're still facing uh, issues uh, for your Citra emulator then go to emulation and configuration and graphics tab no not here reset all settings click here and yes and restart your Citra emulator and select your game directory and go to emulation again and graphics tab advanced option Vulkan check this option select your GPU device and select native resolution scale from here and ok make sure your settings are safe and it's done after these settings you can fix graphics glitches and textures issues in your Citra emulator for any game on your PC so I hope this video will be helpful for you guys if you like it then please subscribe to my this channel and thanks for watching bye bye guys